Uh-oh. <laughs> nice. Should just be using green instead of red, by the way. I don't want to risk, like, missing out on time that I could be auto-attacking, just because I'm not in range. Oh. We should eventually be able to get him, I think. Oh yeah, that is really good. Oh, he's gonna fucking dash on somebody. That doesn't matter. Alright, nice. Damn, I got a kill, but just barely not enough gold for a longsword. Ooh. That's an enemy Talia behind us. Nice one. <laughs> the fuck is happening, man? There's no way she actually tries to flash here, man. No way. Holy fuck. There's no way Ash is dead here, surely. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm good. For now. Bro, what the fuck is going on? I got literally five go participation at <laughs> level one. I have a triple kill. It could have been a penta. Oh, shit. Okay, no, I can't kill him. Nice. Well played, guys. We really mind controlled him into that bad play. Good start, good start. Yeah, now when I get the uh, fucking 30 kills on a fellas, I'll be like, yeah, all this lethality build is so broken, man. Guaranteed triple kill level one every game. Yo, what up gamers? You're watching one of the games taken from my Twitch channel. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and follow me on Twitch if you want to see me play live. The link is in the description. Is he apologizing for not giving a leash? Why would we give him a leash there? <laughs> For this builder, you're maxing lethality first? No, no, no. We just do the regular order. Q max into E max. Potentially, it might be better to, like, do, like, three points in Q than maxi, but I doubt it. I very much doubt it. Can't imagine anything being better to max than Q. If you just want to, like, auto attack damage per auto. Oh, God. I gotta use up some fucking red, man. Oof, close. Would you say if you can afford it, buying a control ward every time is worth it? Absolutely not. Over time, that costs you a lot of gold. Like, when you think about it, a control ward, 75 gold, that is... Was it 25% uh, of a kill? I think. I think it was 25%, either 20% or 25%. It's a lot of gold. You don't want to be spamming control wards. Like, I, I never buy them just to save gold. Arguably buying some is worth it, but I think it's definitely like really easy to just overbuy them Because most control wards won't actually bring you that much value If this Nautilus sacrifices himself, nope He needs to get aggro, man Just sacrifice yourself, you pussy. I thought he had the right idea Man If he would have just taken aggro there, we could have gold for it. Ah, oh, now I missed the plating as well. It sucks. Really can't kill. Oh well. Ow. That is not worth. Get me out of here. The thing now is good. She is in lower elos, not so much in high elos. Oh, she has vision. I nearly have heal. 
Nautilus has shields, so he doesn't have to worry too much. Don't even need to heal, let's go. Guy does not ignite. Let's see. <laughs> he lost the trade so hard. <laughs> well, I had like 20% HP, man. All because of the wave. That's why I wasn't afraid to take it. Like, even if he could try and burst me, I know he doesn't have enough burst to get through, uh, get through the heal. Even if, even if he somehow managed to hit, manages to hit me with the Q through the wave. Just never going to be able to kill me there. And then the mini wave annihilates him. But as a support, yeah, I mean, as a support, you don't have much better stuff to do. But I think they, I think people do still, like, overbuy pinks on supports, probably. But at the very least, like, it's useful to always have wards in your uh, inventory. And then it's just about, like, actually finding good opportunities to use them. Whereas on ADC, like, you need the, the, you need the item slots for stuff. Uh, you don't want to be, like, spending, like, 150 gold unnecessarily if, you, it is, if it's going to delay you, like, a BF sword or a Noon Quiver or something. Because even after you sell it, if you decide you don't need it anymore, it can still, uh, like, cost you something. Whereas supports are not really as reliant on item spikes. Actually, I wonder what boots I want to do on this build. Do I just do Berserkers still? I think I do. We'll also do Ionians though, I guess. Well, almost everybody that does this build does Berserkers. <clears throat> so we'll roll with those. Hey, nice. <laughs> Lethality of Lethalios, if you will. Nice. Suppose so Lethal with the new build is something you're doing for fun. It's something like some of those players have been doing for quite a while. I'm, I'm only just getting around to trying it right now. I don't think I've ever used it before. It's always had an okay win rate though, like about as good as crit. So I know it's, it's not like troll, like some uh, one trick builds are. Whether it's better than crit though is a lot more debatable. So close, man. Man, get her. Come on. There we go. There we go. Bitch. What do you think you're going? Oh god, that. That uh, Talia had all. She probably could have killed me. I guess she doesn't though, because she turned around. The Thalita is so much better at taking threats as well. By the way. So nice. Let's start damage. I'm just gonna go for the next wave as well since I got blue. Sick. Wow. This is a pop off. I'm definitely also snowballing harder with uh, this build, by the way, than I would with Cred. It's just how Lethality works, like it's really good early game. It's uh definitely like a build that scales worse for sure. But like it's under it's like whether it's better or not than crit, the one thing that is like not for a debate is like you're definitely better 
uh, like at least before two items, and maybe even at before three items. At least in the laning phase, anyway. Definitely would do more DPS with Kraken Slayer, but uh, for laning phase, you get better stats with uh, Eclipse than you do with Kraken Slayer or any other crit mythic. More damage specifically. Also, it's not going to be full lethality. We do transition into a crit build. So we can, like, minimize the scaling loss. Let's do this. Shut down. Don't want to base yet. I'm just going to rotate towards mid. We'll take Scuttle. What the fuck? Dude, if it had been Nautilus where I was instead of me, that could have been a kill. <laughs> Alright, maybe we won't go for the scuttle, maybe just for the platings instead then. Why is Nyla only good in low elo? Um, it's mainly just about like melee champions uh, are gonna get abused harder in high relos. Doesn't mean she uh, is always gonna be bad in high elo, but like disproportionately she is uh, better in low elo because of that. Because people aren't as good at abusing melee champs. They won't manipulate the wave as well, they won't poke as hard. Oh, thank god I dodged that, that could have been bad. Well, I barely even got any platings there. Well, I did get two, right? Could have already based for a collector, actually. Oh, man. Really? Oh, he doesn't, uh... Nice. Let's go. Nice. He, the Bard Oath apparently doesn't disappear my turret. That's convenient. Nice. it. I, I'm just gonna base right after this. <clears throat> Alright, so next up will be Lord Dominic's, I guess. Oh no. Ow. That's fine, I got healing. Shut down. Gotcha, bitch. Nice. Fuck me. <laughs> I misclicked the fucking transition to blue. I gotta be careful I don't get right. Bl and 
What ulted here? Well, actually, I'm pretty sure I should be fine. Rengar's top side anyway. Oh, that's an, an issue though. That is an issue. My bad. How? I mean, oh, that is so unlucky, man. She did not know that I was going to be getting fucking for an aggro there. God. There goes my deathless game. Is Kong still good on Phyllis or is it Fleet Slash PT now? Kong is still okay. Um, especially if you're going. Uh, what's it called? Um, Phantom Dance a second. But if you don't collect a second, I would probably advise just going PTA. Oh, oh, oh. Oh boy. Ow. I haven't really had a chance to actually see what my damage is with... Are you serious, man? Uh, come on! Yeah, fuck, I'm trolling. What was that? Okay, at least I got the bard, holy shit. Yeah, we still not been in a proper fight, I was gonna say. I'm sure Nautilus must have had ult up there, right? <laughs> oh shit, he asked me I'm good support. Mm. I'm a fucking magnet for these ash hooks or ash ults, man. What did, what are the odds that I keep getting hit by these cross map ults, man? My God. Okay, here we go. Nice. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, throw it out, girl. Good support, indeed. <laughs> no, 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 Okay, nice. Huge. You guys like that combo? It's even more deadly with this build. You for sure do more ability damage. Oh, my bad. Get fucked. I should have been able to go Bard as well, though. I just barely ran out of range. Dude. Thank God I went for Red or I would have been hit by that again. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This Rengar. Damn, I didn't get Red.
Nautilus, tank for me, tank for me, tank for me. If you want to be a good support, then tank for me. My god, man. Ah, fuck. I should have ulted first, my bad. But he can literally walk behind me, so we see Rengar and he sees him, right? Instead, he's like trying to run with me so that he's like, he doesn't want to sacrifice himself for me, even though we're both going to die if he doesn't, you know? It's like he expects me to run into Rengar for him. Damn, I just barely can't get a Crick Cloak. <laughs> Guess we'll just push bot. Nice one. Cost me a lot of damage. HP to the turret though. Mod attacks for like call now, by the way. But I want a life steal. I'm gonna keep pushing here. Fucking Bard is defending. Ow. Can probably 1v2. Maybe not so much 1v3 though. But you know what? Fuck it. Bring it. Let's test the build. How good am I 1v3? Bring it on, guys. Okay, I need to dodge that though. Okay, uh, I'm probably just gonna get one shot by Talia here. Yeah. That sucks. I wanted Riven, not Talia. Talia would obviously one shot me if I got hit by, uh, by Ashwalt. Oh well. <clears throat> Can I finish the edge now? I should do some insane damage now. Like th this, uh, this item point might actually be stronger than the three uh, three item point, or might be stronger than the item point from uh, the regular crit bolt. We'll see. Would this build work for Lucian as well? Yeah, I was actually doing a similar build on Lucian uh, like a few months ago. Should still be okay, even despite the Eclipse nerf. I'm just gonna do Drake, I don't wanna waste time. Come on, fuck. 
Oh my god, that was a big ass cut on the ribbon. Just two shot Malia. Was Ryan grab that? Oh yeah, he is. Nice. We barely could see what my damage was there and they just surrendered, man. Oh well. You guys pretty much saw that a two shot Talia though, right? Nasty. Look at this. Dude. One auto attack did 1,400. Nah, nah, that can't be right, surely. What? I actually did 1,400 damage with one out. No, even more. I did 1,500, right? What? How is that even possible? That's a lot more damage than I thought. My god.